This is Tank's vlog, May 7th, 2019. And the Mets are fucking making me miserable. Every goddamn year. Every goddamn year. And we got a manager. We we're just struggling right now. We'll work through it. I believe my guys. My guys have spirit. My guys have spunk. I love them all. There's no need to worry. There's no need to worry. Losing is just okay. I'm okay with, you know, that happens. Every day someone loses. We don't have to worry about winning. Too much is put on winning. I hate that manager. He loves losing. Mickey Calloway is a loser, a loser, a loser. And as long as he's their manager, the Mets will be losers. They take after their manager in every goddamn way. They're just going through the motions. They're just going through. This is June all over again. All over again. Last June when they went and won five games. Only this month they're doing it in May. They can't hit. Jacob DeGrom, another wasted effort. Now we're getting injuries again. We're going to have Cliff Frexen. Flex. The reflex. We'll pitch every five days. Ensuring a loss for sure. Flex and Kenny to win in AAA. We, we trade for Wilmer Font. Who the fuck is Wilmer Font? Meanwhile, Dallas Keuchel is sitting there. Craig Kimbrough is sitting there. And the Mets are nah, 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 nah. They want to be paid in real money, not friggin' Mets money. Why don't they just change the name of City Field? Why don't they make the Mets City Field, change the name of City Field to what it should be? Dollar Tree Field. Dollar Tree is so pretty and the wheel ponds are so cheap. And now they want Peter Alonso to start pulling the ball more. Great, so you can fuck him up like you fucked up Conforto. Conforto is now absolutely worthless. Thanks a lot, Kevin Long. Thanks a lot, Pat Rossler. And Chili Davis, you suck too. Can't get a catcher. Can't get a catcher to save our lives. We could get Mike Piazza, 51 years old, out of retirement. And he could be better than these fucking bums we've put out there for the past two, 15 fucking years. Ever since Paul LaDuca in 2006. The catching position has been pathetic. And, and across baseball, the catching position is pathetic now. But the Mets, it's like a whole new level. It's a whole new level of suck. And it's like, it's like the, the, the Robinson Cano. It's like they put on that uniform. They put on that night uniform. And it takes their sound away. It's like the, the Monstars. And this, this Chris Paddock went out there and said he's going to shut the Mets down. And he fucking did it. You, 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 you could just go out there because the Mets have no fucking balls. They're a bunch of goddamn eunuchs. Masaris. Four straight losses in the last... Six games, the Mets have scored a grand total of one, two, five. They have seven runs essentially in the last 63 innings. That is pew tread. Pew tread. Pathetic. And they only hit the ball hard. It's ground ball, 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 ground ball. They've killed more bugs than fucking Raid and fucking whoever that damn Terminex. 
Roll out to the second baseman. Don't even need to show no. And they don't, they don't, they don't, they're not walking. They're not selective. And you know when this all started? When they brought back Todd fucking Fraser. He went to Tom Javier. He was a little leaguer. He plays at Derek Jeter. He's the Todd Hatter. He's a bum. He's a total bum. Brandon Nimmo is lost. We gotta keep putting him out there. We gotta be, we gotta work his way through it. This isn't stealing green training. It's the regular season. You're three games below 500. You can't put him out there to work it out. Every fucking move that idiot general manager did. Come get us. Come get a team to beat. And everyone's going to beat us with ease. That's what he meant to say. Half ass. Do something, you idiot. Do something. Disgraceful. Disgraceful that we have to watch this crap year in, year out. Take 2015 out. Take 2016 out. Throw those years out. The Mets have now had nine losing seasons the last 11 years. Nine uncompetitive losing seasons where they're done before the damn All-Star break. And this year is going to be no different. This is New York. We have a payroll lower than the Padres. The Madoff excuse doesn't fly anymore. If they can't afford the damn team, sell the damn team. You get $2 billion instantly. Heartless, heartless, gutless. Just going through the motions every night. And Paddock might be a good pitcher, okay? So he... Solid. But none of the pitchers they've pitched, faced, before Paddock tonight is any damn good. It's no different tonight. No different. Robinson Cano hasn't had a hit in a week. He's batting 220. It's Robinson, Rodney Alomar all over again. The Mets have been taken to the cleaners. And Jared Kanellick is going to be a stud, a star. They'll be regretting this trade for the next 20 goddamn years. Sure, we got a closer. Yeah, closer that can't pitch in tie games. He blew two of them last week. And what good's a closer if you can't get the lead? This team can't score. They can't hit. Do we ever try to improve the hitting? Nope. We signed Wilson Ramos, who sucks. Robinson Gano, who's washed up. We keep Todd Frazier in the lineup, even though he can't do anything. We're good, Brandon Nimmo. I'd rather have a fucking minor leaguer, a little leaguer up. He's He can't hit. He has no confidence. Fix him. And the only way to fix him is to send him down to AAA. But no, there's no accountability. There's no accountability. This is, this is DMV baseball. New Jersey Transit baseball. Incompetence is rewarded. Sucking is rewarded. Accountability not needed. Because we got a pussy manager. And they take on his personality. This Met team is a reflection of personality. That wet blanket, that moron, that idiot. (sighs) 
Justin Wilson is another wonderful acquisition. Wonderful. It's like they get the same player every year. They're the same player. It's just like they just change places. It's it, it, after last year's Anthony Swartz shit, and now it's J Justin Wilson. Same player. The same player. The same stats. Same player. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. Console the season. It's over. Put a stake in them. The Nets are going nowhere. And they're not going to have another wing season until 2025. And by Jan Jarrett, Kenelnick will probably have two MVPs. And we'll be still paying for Robinson Cano. Dumb. And now we're going to screw up uh, Peter Alonso's swing. We're going to make him start sucking too. We, do, we don't like Jeff McNeil because he sprays the ball around. We want something. We only want people that lift and pull and hit the ball on the friggin' ground and did it a goddamn shift. Every other team is starting to figure out to try to beat the shift, except one. Except one, and that's the Mets. This is too stupid. Elsewhere in baseball, Yankees beat the Mariners 7-3. Look at all the injuries the Yankees have. Look at all these players that came coming up. We had big hits. Unnamed, unsung players. Do the Mets have that? No. Because they have no scouting. They spend less on scouting than any team in the majors. How come the Yankees continue to have all these injuries and yet they find someone in the major in the minors that actually has a fucking pulse? Unlike us, we bring up Chris fucking Flexen. <sighs> Reds beat the Giants twelve to four. Don't worry, Giants. I think you're playing the Mets soon. You'll get someone then. White Sox over the Indians nine to one. Orioles, another team that's better than the Mets, beat the Red Sox 4-1. It was the Twins, 8 nothing winners over the Blue Jays. Rays beat the uh, Diamondbacks 12-1. Brewers over the Nationals 5-3. Cardinals over the Phillies 6 nothing. Marlins beat the uh, Cubs 6-5. By the way, Mets will be coming home for a quick three-game series against the Marlins. Guaranteed the Mets lose at least 2 out of 3. Guarantee it. This is a team, this team might be, the Mets might end up finishing in last place. That is how fucking bad, how fucking pathetic are. They're not going to win more than six games in May. Guarantee it. 6-4 Astros over the Royals. And the Dodgers beat the Braves 5-3. You see, the Dodgers actually have talent. They have scouts. They have people that go looking for players. Not the Mets. The Mets just to have, get nothing. Nobody develops in that damn system. It's are too ridiculous, too stupid. NBA stick a fork in the Celtics. Another lackluster, lifeless effort at home. Final score, 113 101 Bucks now have a 3-1 series lead and leading the way was Yana Akatepenko had 39 points, 16 rebounds, 4 assists as he freaked all over the Celtics. The Rockets, they have done what they had to do. They took the two in Houston, and we have got ourselves a showdown series with the Warriors. James Harden, a huge night, 38 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists as the Rockets won, beat the Warriors 112 108, making 5 back in Oakland. NHL, John Tortorella. Well, you might be going back to Boston, but uh, you might be actually going to maybe watch the Red Sox play. Maybe you'll be watching the Eastern Conference Finals because the, um, yeah, you got the Tuka Rask, all right. 39 saves today. Goodbye. Goodbye, Columbus. Bye. Bye, loser. John Tortorella. Is there, is there a, a, a more douchebaggy coach in hockey than John Tortorella? 
Bruins won that game 3 0 and now back on to the Eastern Conference Finals where they'll face the Carolina Hurricanes. Meanwhile, the West, nothing is settled. Gabriel Landeskog scored the overtime game winner, forcing Game 7. Both Western Conference Series between the Avalanche and the Sharks and the Stars and the Blues are going to seven games. NHL, that's where the excitement is. <sighs> Today's three stars are Yana Antokopenko with 39 points, 16 points, 16 rebounds, 4 assists. Tuka Rask, 39 safe shutdown, and Chris Paddock. You know, Chris Paddock really shouldn't even be a third star. Because fucking, I could probably shut down the fucking Mets. Pathetic, putrid, horrible, pissant, gutless, eunuch offense. Today's birthday shutout is going to Anton Kubinen and Nate Prosser, who will both be playing Game 7 on the opposite ends of the ice. Prosser is for the Blues, and Kubinen will be the goalie for the Stars if Ben Bishop is unable to go from that shot he took to the chops on Sunday. And we take a look back to Game 5 of the NBA playoffs in 1994 when the Denver Nuggets became the first 8 seed to be the 1 seed with Dikemba Matumbo embracing the ball at the bottom of the floor at the end of the game as Denver knocked out the Seattle Sonics. Check out the full story of Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia where sports history lives. Oh, God, I hate this fucking. You're killing me. They are killing me!